How goes it, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Patterson L Properties. The, the year is basically over with, and I don't know about you all, but 2019 went by a little too fast for me. <laughs> but I'm definitely looking forward to 2020 and all the great opportunities that I have available to me. And I hope you guys have great opportunities available to you. And if you don't, go out there and try to figure out how you can do it. And if you're obviously, if you need to go to conventions like I've done in the last couple of years, go for it, get with the right people because being around the wrong people, you never get to where you want to go to and your life will be the same. Trust me on that one. Just had to throw that little disclaimer out there because a lot of people are going into the new year, unfortunately, with the same mindset. And they think that having ideas, but being around the same people and doing the same things are gonna actually have um, implement and those ideas that they actually have to want to improve their life to be a, become a better in, um, real estate investor or to be, just become an investor on some sort of a level or a wholesaler or a tax lien, et cetera and so forth. So, you know, you have to not only get the knowledge, not only watch the videos, but you have to implement. You know, too many people like to watch and not enough like to do. So don't be a watcher in the new year, be a doer. And if you are a doer, then hey, let's get it going. Anyways, today's subject matter, I'll be talking about Mr. Patrick Jean. Um, real estate mogul in this good old city of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Now, this article that I read the other day, you know, it's as, it's as simple as it gets to the meat and potatoes of young, ambitious, and making things happen entrepreneurs nowadays. That's another thing that, like I said, make it happen. You know, not just talking about it, make it happen. Not just going to the classes, make it happen. You know, Mr. Patrick Jean from West Philadelphia, PA, born and raised on the playground where he spent most of his days. I'm just kidding, I had to do, I had to do it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. If you're a Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Will Smith fan, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyways, um, he's from West Philadelphia, um, Pennsylvania, and uh, he decided to change the game when it came to his life after struggling um, with living with college roommates. You know, that's just normal for a lot of people, they're struggling. Um, as a college student, you know, you don't have much time to make even get a decent job. Um, and if you, especially if you're going to school full time. So it's like a lot of times, a lot of college people that are in college are getting into real estate just by for survival purposes and tax purposes at the same time. A lot of people are um, obtaining delinquent tax properties. A lot of people are just um, buying properties and renting them out with their college roommates um, and things of that nature. And while they're in college, they're actually not having to pay for room and board because they have their roommates or their ten tenants paying the room, um, the, the um, mortgage for them. So it's like it's kind of a win-win situation. So the last thing they have to worry about is money and they could just focus on the schoolwork or anything else that they want to do. So now, the awesome thing that Mr. Jean in the year of 2019, he actually bought his 30th house. Let me repeat myself again. He bought his 30th home in 2019. Young man too. He owns a real estate investment firm in the city of Philadelphia called JP Holdings LLC that has actually generated more than an exuberant amount of $30 million in real estate sales. $30 million, man. Congratulations, hands off, hats off. I mean, hats off to you. Round of applause, the whole nine. Mr. Jean's organization has flipped more than 30 properties and completed more than 250,000 square feet of new construction projects. Now, that's what I'm talking about, okay? By the way, Mr. Jean is only 30 years of age, okay? He's younger than me. And one thing that I really like about Mr. Jean is that he seems to be very humble with all of his accomplishments that's taken place in his life. And that's the thing, never forget where you come from. Never forget how hard it was, even when you do achieve your dreams and goals and aspirations and anything in life, especially in real estate. He stated, and I quote, I feel like it's a blessing for me to be at this point where I am right now in life. To be able to accomplish everything that I've accomplished. So in return, he's started to give back to people um, with hand ups and not handouts, Mr. John said. The way, the way he decided to give back is that he is sharing information with people to, for free. Because a lot of times these real estate moguls will charge you and they have every right to. Um, they will charge you for to get the just eat, to get the information in regards to how you can get started in real estate investing. Um, and I say it's admirable that he's doing that because sharing entrepreneurial real estate investment information can help transform so many people's lives by giving them a hand up and not a handout. We got the same words in common. Uh, the article stated that in September, Mr. Jean invited 15 people to dine with him for his 30th birthday. And he shared um, advice and great detailed information about how to get started in real estate. 
In less than 60 days, Mr. Jones already has transformed four people into real estate investing um, personnel. And that's something that he's looking to continue to do as a way of giving back. I think that's awesome. And I think most likely eventually he'll probably start touring the country like the Rich Dad Poor Dad, like the Ari Mentors, like the Than Murrows, like the um, uh, DJ Envy and whatnot, and Cesar. You know, he's going to he's going to start doing that kind of stuff. And you know, it's, and if he does charge him, that's fine. You know, there's nothing wrong with that because time is money, baby. <laughs> you know, um, so I think that's a great thing that he's doing. You know, um, you know, it's like, and he stated in I quote that. He had to figure, it took a long time for him to figure things out. And he's looking to continue to give back by helping others figure figure things out in regards to real estate investing, you know? So, and I, and I just think that's great. You know, he's um, giving people detailed information. He's, you know, and he's doing it for free. Kindness of his heart, you know? And Mr. John also stated that, I feel like I, f I figured it out. And this is something that I want to share because I know that there are a lot of people out there who are trying to figure it out. And the thing is, what really inspired Mr. Jean is that when he was in college struggling to get by, the struggle actually inspired him to get into real estate industry, to get into the industry. Mr. Jean thought about how much money his landlord was making off of him and his friends because they were paying $2,000 a month to stay in a place. So that makes sense. He was like, hey, you know, I'm struggling. My landlord's not struggling. How can I get on my landlord's status? Since he was struggling, you know, a struggling college student at the time, his entrepreneurial journey really started when he threw college parties, which is very smart. College, I even heard people throw not only um, college parties, like regular, you know, just the drinks, food, and, and music, but a lot of people throw um, academic parties. A lot of people throw uh, video game parties. You know, there's so many things that people are into nowadays, and it's, and it's just a way for people to make money. I think it's great. Renting out properties uh, for his landlord, so he made, struck a deal with his landlord. And a lot of the smart landlords do this. They give bonuses and cash incentives of some sort to people that they find them uh, renters within a certain amount of time. You know, because that's the last thing us as landlords, we want to have a vacant property. So I think that's a beautiful thing. And the assistance of his mother as well. Family, it, that's what it's all about. If it wasn't for my mother, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. I and I love it because family helped Mr. Jean and there's nothing wrong with that. And he did things on the side uh, to obtain additional income to purchase his first investment property, which was a four bedroom home at the cost of $27,000. I repeat, $27,000 near Temple University, which is very smart to purchase investment properties near universities because, you know, as landlords, um, it's more of a guarantee of a supply of renters for us. Not only people that are just attending the schools, but a lot of people that actually work at the campus. Or and a lot of times campuses are in major cities and they're close to downtown, so people want to be close to the downtowns. So you got a mixture of everything, of uh, different kind of renters and whatnot, you know. But yeah, and that's the that's the thing. Like I said, family is very important on all levels. But family, you know, for a lot of people. It needs to be more important on the financial aspect of things, doing things together, because that's how we can really uplift each other. You know, love each other, that's first, but that's second, let's uplift each other, uplift each other from a financial aspect, you know? And um, I just think that's a great thing. And he's become the real estate mogul that he is actually today because of that. So, you know, it's, it's just, it's very smart. And that's another thing that if you're just getting started in real estate, you gotta lay it out on the line. You know, it's one of those, and I was just listening to Danielle Pierce on YouTube, and she stated, and I quote, you know, if you don't have the money, get your credit right so you can get the money from elsewhere. You know, it's that old saying, you know, find money to use that money to make more money and repeat the process, you know? So if you need, it, like, great example, if you don't have um, cash money, then if you have decent credit, then why don't you get a cash advance on, from your credit card and utilize that money to do specific things you know it's, it's all about leveraging the dollars that you have what you have and then try to make turn it into something else you know because that's 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 what it's really all about and in 2020 that's what i'm going to be doing so i can get some more tax liens so i can um get into the commercial game of real estate you know i've already got the other properties but i'm, I'm trying to increase my portfolio buy vacant lots of land you know so things of that nature you know it's like how can you know, let's be creative tax season's coming up my favorite time of year that's what i'm doing with my tax return i'm not ashamed to say it i'm going to use that to buy more real estate and and, and uh the lingo tax lanes and, and enhance my portfolio and i hope you do the same thing you know because that's what it's all about you know forget the new car unless you absolutely need it to get the nice watch unless you absolutely need it with cell phones you really don't but that's just my personal opinion you know throw all that materialistic stuff out the way 2020 we're getting assets 
That's what it's all about, family, okay? But anyways, back to the story at hand. Now, one of the biggest reasons why I invest in the state of Pennsylvania myself is because that the prices are reasonable and the chances of owning a home without a mortgage are higher if you know what you're doing with your money. Mr. Jean used a line of credit from Mills Fargo, da -da -da -da, line of credit, and worked with a team of contractors to transform a former shell into a modern home that he rented out to friends, which was even smarter. He learned from experience and from mentors by attending a Wells Fargo home ownership workshop. And there's so many of these workshops, free workshops that are out there, especially if you're like, if you're a member of a specific um, financial institution like Wells Fargo. Mentorship is definitely key when it comes to becoming successful in anything in life. He sold his first home after he graduated from Temple University. And uh, that basically put him on the path to start flipping homes in South Philadelphia, Point Breeze um, and North Philadelphia brewery town neighborhoods. Now, Mr. John eventually scaled up to the point where he was able to build brand new homes because he just he went one level to the next level. And now he's, he's becoming a, basically a developer. You know, he started out as an investor. Now he's in the, then a flipper and now he's in the, the developer. So, you know, those three different levels, man, it's just you never know where um, life can take you if you just have the will, the know how and um, are willing to get obtain the knowledge that's necessary and get the mentorship that's necessary and you know a lot of times mentorship costs so hey it, and everything like i said if it's really worth it you're going to pay something at the end of the day um he also recently bought 20 units in the cedar park area of west philadelphia mr jones also is featured in wells fargo's new year uh, around cultural engagement campaign and power and powerful he appears in a video on the Banks and Powerful Exchange where he tells the story of how he went from being a struggling college student to a real estate mogul in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Mr. John, you inspire us all, and I wish you nothing but the best in the future. Um, and I will say in 2020, and I'll say it until the day I die, remember, you can't get fired if you own the company. And in 2020, we need to be owning more companies, we need to be owning more real estate. I don't care if it's vacant land, I don't care if it's a trailer. Um, Ownership is where it's at nowadays. You can have a job, that's cool. But ownership is where it's at. Investing is where it's at. And that's what we're all about. And Mr. John, like I said, keep inspiring us. Hopefully I get to meet up with you one day. Um, we're in the same areas when it comes to investing. So let's get it going. Uh, if you guys like the video, please give it a uh, thumbs up. Definitely share, comment, please. I love to engage with people. Um, and definitely subscribe, okay? Um, and hopefully if you need a wholesaler in the DMV area, you know who to call, Patterson L Properties, Larry Patterson for you. And we go from there, man. Uh, hopefully you guys take care. 2020, this is my last video for two, until 2020, so let's do it. Let's get it. It's our time. No matter what anybody says, you just have to want it. Take care.